they came to me and said, oh Kira, that's, that's good, that's enough for you, you know. You, you take it too serious and I think you have to do other things because it's going to be very hard for you to um, make money with Jiu Jitsu. You're a girl, you know, leave this for us. It's hard to say when I really started training and when I really started Jiu Jitsu. Since I started walking, we had a, a mat at our house. So I was there like play, playing around, always learning some, some new like self-defense moves. You know, it was just a little kid. And I used to live in the same house as Hanzo, Half, and Haya. So we live in the same house, so imagine. All of them with all the the friends training Jiu Jitsu every day, going to tournaments. So I, I grew up watching Jiu Jitsu and learning. When I was like around 10, 10, 11 years old, my mom started training, but for real, like she got a blue belt, her blue belt, and she was training like pretty much every day. So I started watching her, and then something clicked on my head like, oh, if, if she can do it, I can do it, you know? Because before I used just to watch the my, my, my cousins and my uncles, so I thought like, oh, that's a man thing, like, wow, well, I don't want to do it. And then I fell in love, like I started competing. Uh, my first tournament, I was uh, 11 years old, and I uh, was the like, state championship in uh, Rio de Janeiro. And then I kept going, kept going, my mom stopped because uh, she had to work and do other things, you know, and she wants to have uh, like her nail long, so <laughs> she quit and then I kept going. And it's funny today because like, she's still a blue belt, but she trains with me at, 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 at our house. And then nowadays I teach her. <laughs> when I started, like my uncles, they were like, okay, she's playing around, you know, a uh, teenager or a like, kid just playing. But then when I when I when I start taking serious like when I start competing like Pan Am, traveling and really training hard, they they came to me and said, "Oh, Kira, that's that's good. That's enough for you. You know, you you taking too serious, and I think you have to do other things because it's gonna be very hard for you to um, make money with Jiu Jitsu. You a girl, you know, leave this for us. And you were I, I think I was a purple belt at the time." And they were like, okay, Pupa Belt is fine. I was like, pretty like upset about it because I was so excited about Jiu Jitsu. I was like, really excited about competing and dreaming already about my black belt at the time. I just came home and then I was thinking, and then I thought, like, let's see if Jiu Jitsu, like, if, if Jiu Jitsu is really for, for men, you know. I thought about like quitting, but. But then I talked to my mom and then she said, no, don't worry about them, just keep going, you know. And then I kept going. I kept training actually, and they didn't know. And, and suddenly I, I, I went to, I think it was a world championship, then I won, and then they came to me and they said, Kira, I'm sorry, we, we said that to you, you know. We were like stupid, now we're so proud of you. And, it, and now it's great because they, are, they, they motivate me. They, I, I, we travel together, I'm always there like learning with them. Um, everything that I know, actually, they taught me.
it's a girl. Uh, they were like, they were not, not that That's happy, crazy, you know. Yeah. They were like, okay, I want to try again to try to get have, have a boy, you know. <laughs> they weren't happy with the girl, <laughs> but now they can still like. It's funny. I, I see a lot of uh, mm. little Gracie girls like training, and my little cousins, and they, oh, I want to be a black belt. I want to be like you, and their fathers coming to me like, hey, Kira, my 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 my. My daughter is training. She wants to be a black belt, and they are like very uh, excited about it. My family, uh, they understand because they've been to this, like, they've been, my mom and my, my grandmother, they know all of this, they, all their lives, they are, they are used to do, to deal with the, with Jiu Jitsu and the tournaments and everything. It's funny because my grandma, when I get home, she has like, all my meal, you have to, you have to eat this, this is very good because tomorrow morning you have to be, to be ready to train again, <laughs> you know, and she, she cooks for me, she does everything, so it's a uh, Hanzo and Helium, they help me a lot, and uh, also I have a lot of cousins, a lot of people helping me, you know, I train here in Brazil at Gordo, and we have Homer, we have Gordo, we have a lot of guys here that train with me, and I have just, uh, I'm, I'm very thankful to them to be always helping me to, to improve myself. And uh, I think besides that, it's just my family, my mom, my sister. I have three sisters, one brother, they all train. So it's very good to be with them, and not only when we are training here, but at home. I'm very, I like to be, like, I don't, I don't go out much, I, I like to be with my, my family most of the time. So spend the weekend with them so we can, we can get the energy. I think the thing that I like the most, I could say that once you get here, like inside the mat, it doesn't matter if you're rich, if you're poor, if you're black, if you're white, everybody's the same. So I think that's the most important thing here. Once you get here, we're all the same. But once you get here, you forget everything. Sometimes you have a problem, you come here and we see your friends, we train, we relax. You know, we focus on other on, on the training and then we forget the all the problems. So that's the best thing about Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> Sometimes and I when I when I argue with my boyfriend, I'm so mad and I come to train and then after training I'm all everything is fine. <laughs> like I really wanna have a lot of kids, like well, but I I think I can wait a little bit more. I want to focus on competing now, but I think it's going to be hard to have a lot of kids and, you know, train and compete. For sure, I'll be training forever. For sure, that's something that, for sure, I'll be training and teaching, but I don't know if I'll be able to compete when I have kids. But if I don't compete, I'll pass everything that I know to them so they can compete in the future. <laughs> For an athlete, it's very hard. You have to sacrifice. sacrifice. And uh, I started competing like big tournaments when I was like really young, 17, 18. I was already like a, a brown belt, competing with black belts, like really taking seriously. So while all my my friends were going out, you know, traveling and doing a lot of things, I was just just training and eating well and cannot go to sleep late. So, but. If you think about that, 
when you're doing and when when you see your, your 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 friends going out or traveling or doing things that you cannot do sometimes it's hard but after you win the tournament it's it worth it so much you know it, you can't describe how how good it is to to win the tournament and to have like a really hard ma match and then at the end you go there and you win so it's something that it, it comes like from it's the inside something inside that you have I love the winning feeling I love I love to be there I love to be competing I love to be like excited about the tournament you know and also for me it's more than that it's about uh, feeling the same thing that all my family members felt everybody that stepped in the mat they felt the same thing I did. So it's it's more than one tournament or world championship. It's about how I can feel it, like everything, you know, that passed through through my family. And all this experience I'm gonna pass through my kids and my grand grandchild and keep passing on and keeping the gracing in. So that's what keeps me motivated the most. <laughs> I always want to do something that nobody has ever done and um, I didn't have a whole role model like a girl or a black belt to look up to so I wanted to be this girl and I want to prove them they were wrong so maybe that was the click that I had.